Hey and welcome back to LS Tech. It's your boy Laxen and today we're going to be checking out a smart indoor camera from Nubi. I'm going to give them a big shout out for sending this out for me to review in this video but this is the latest indoor 1080p camera and of course the link will be in the description if you do want to check it out but yeah let's begin with the video. Thank you for watching LS Tech. Make sure you leave a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, enable notification with the little bell icon so you don't miss out any of my latest videos. So Nubi access a huge range of smart products from smart light bulbs, cameras, outdoor camera, indoor camera, but this is the indoor 1080p camera and this one only reaches for $40. The link will be in the description if you want to check it out and it's available in Germany, UK as well as Canada and in the USA. But yeah, this is the box itself as you can see. Got the branding there, Nubi Cam Indoor 1080p. We have the little design here element, which is the camera itself. On one side, we can see we've got all the main features here from your 1080p, night vision, app control, cloud storage, two-way audio, as well as motion detection. The back, we just got some more standard information. So yeah, and if you notice, like here, I do have their 360 camera, which is amazing. Like that is a nice camera with that tracking and everything. But this is a much cheaper option with some less features. So yeah, let's have a look at it. Let's use my unboxing knife here. Let's open this up. So inside we've got a booklet itself. So inside we just have the booklet showing you how to set it up and everything like that. But this is so simple, so we don't need that. And inside we've got some stickers. Showing you that is a nice touch. We got some stickers letting you know you have some cameras. So this is actually the 360 camera, which I have here. And this is the outdoor camera. So that's a little nice touch here, as you can see. And here we've got the camera itself. Let's just put that to the side and see what else we get included. So inside we've got a power brick here as you can see. So this is your standard USB power brick which is nice type A. So that's really handy. And here we've got the cable. So inside we do have a type A to type B cable and it is with a flush inside. So it's going to sit really well which is nice. And of course we do have our little magnet here, plate. If you do want to mount it on the wall or something like that, take a look at that. And that's just a M3 sticker here. Nothing too fancy. It will just stick onto the back of the camera and then you can just like mount it on the wall or something like that. But this is the camera itself, as you can see. Very nice. Nothing too fancy. I do love this, like the color feature they use, like the color scheme is not too white, but it's like fades in really well. That's a nice touch, like I love that color. But here we do have a little protector cover, so let's remove that off. Got the camera there with the mics, LED light, as well as infrared sensors for night vision. On this side, you can see we do have a local storage. So if you don't want to have it cloud based, you can have an SD card in and store it all the way to the SD card, which is nice. Reset bonds, some speaker grill there. Oh yeah, you have a nice stand here as you can see. You can have it flush on the wall and everything like that. So that's nice. So if I take the cable here and I'll show you how that goes in. So now we'll just like slide it in and you can see it just, it just stays flush, which is nice. So that's a nice touch, but look at the camera. It's nice, like it is not, it's not too ugly or anything like that. It actually fits really well. Like you can have it in different ways, depending on how you want to mount it. Like if you want to like, 
no, it's really nice. Like depending on how you want to mount this, you have this on the ceiling on the desk. You can even have it on the table like this and just record out, which is really nice. But yeah, let me plug this in and we're gonna go through the setup using the phone as well as pairing this to the Google Home and we'll see how well everything works. So yeah, now it is plugged in. We've got a flashing amber light here. If you look on the below the camera, you can see that's flashing. So what I'm gonna do, first of all, is download the app. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to the app store. So I'm gonna open that up here and we're gonna search for it. I already have it installed, but if you don't have it, we wanna search for it. So just gonna search for Nui. And as you can see they're actually showing two. One is standard, one is called Cam. We're gonna go for the one with the blue icon. One is called Lifestyle, so we're gonna download that. But I already installed, so I'm just gonna hit open. So you need to create an account to use the app. So first of all, if you don't have an account, it's gonna ask you to create an account. If you have one, you can just sign in. If not, you can just create one, it is free. There's nothing you need to pay for, it's free of charge. So just make an account and then you up and go. Like oh, I do have my account here. I've got my account setting and stuff like that. But when you've done that, we're gonna go to the camera and we're gonna hit add new camera, add camera. And then this, you can see the entire collection of cameras and we do have the indoor 720, 1080. We've got their new baby cam as well. 360 outdoor as well as their latest doorbell which I really want to try out but in this video we are going to check out the 1080p so I'm going to hit that and then you can see it's going to go through the step by step so we're going to do that at the same time so you don't make any mistake I'm going to go through this slowly and you know make sure we do this properly so here's asking if we have a red light on yeah we do have a flashing red light so I'm going to hit yes and now it's gonna ask me to connect to my Wi-Fi and when you're doing this, it's gonna ask you to use the 2.4 gigahertz bandwidth to make the connection. And after that, it will work on your five gigahertz. So make sure you do have a router that is unable to use the 2.4 gigahertz bandwidth. But I do have that, so I'm just gonna hit next and log in. And now it is asking me to connect to the camera using this QR code, which is showing up my phone really bright. So I'm gonna place the camera So we just heard that connecting, so that's gonna connect now and you can see it is connecting on my phone as well. So we are just gonna wait for that to pair up. So the pairing position is done now. We do have a steady white light, but on the phone you can see it is gone through and it's asking you to name your device. So asking where you're gonna put this in your office, living room. So I'm just gonna hit living room for now. And the good thing is you wanna make sure you give these proper names so you don't get when you're asking Google or when you go through your phone or want to look where it is, it's better always giving a proper name. Asking for the policy, I understand that. And you can see it is up now, but we're getting all this instruction. I'm just going to skip through this. I'm going to show you properly. So down here, we've got all of the function keys from recording video, taking pictures, speaking and listening. So if you want to do two-way audio, you can just press that and you can do some communication and if I hit that, you can hear myself speaking because it is just picking up from the camera. So I'm not going to do that. Of course, you can go into full screen like this. If I bring the camera forward to me, you can see me. Hello. So that works fine. But before that, let's just minimize that and go into the settings. Let's click on the settings and we're going to go through the settings and like general stuff. Of course, that's going to be your IP address and stuff like that. But then we're going to go on video and audio. We can see we do have audio recording, image rotation. And that's if you have the camera like upside down on the ceiling. You want to rotate the image so you make sure you have it the right way. And of course, we have the startup sound in case it gets disconnected. It's going to make a sound up start when it gets powered on. Of course, we've got night vision. Of course, you want to have that on automatic. And then we've got detection, we've got motion detection as well as, as well as sound detection. So if it detects any sort of motion or sound, it will notify you on the app saying it's detected the motion. And you can go in the settings and you can just turn that on. As soon as it detects a motion, it will notify you. That same goes for the sound. And then if you turn it on, as you can see here, we do get the different levels of sensitivity, detection shown and schedule. So if you do 
just want this to be on when you're not at home, you can do that as well, which is nice. But I'm just going to turn it on because it keeps telling me that it's getting detected. So I'm just going to keep it off. So yeah, let's look at storage. Now you do have two different ways of storing your storage, like your footage. You can have it locally stored on the device itself, or you can use cloud storage. So if I click on storage, you can see that. If I have SD card, it will show up here. If not, you can use a subscription, which then works on Amazon servers to have the videos sold. But if you just want to save everything to SD card, you can just put in a 64 gig or 32 gig and you should be totally fine here. And of course you do have sharing so you can have another person create an account on their device and then you can share your account. So I've got my email here so I can just send a request to someone and then they can accept it and then they can view the footage as well, live view. But yeah, then down here we do have third party controls so this will work with Amazon Alex as well as Google Home. I'm not gonna show you how to set up with the Google Home Assistant because I already have that. But that is everything in the settings. But if you go in here, we do have everything here. So let's just have a look at the video quality itself. Like, I mean, that is decent quality, I have to say. Good amount of quality. Hmm, what do you, what do you think? Does it look good? Quality is bad. Hmm, let's just do a recording and I will let you know how it is. So right now it is recording. Switching directly into the camera itself. Yeah, this is how the video quality is gonna be if you are recording from the So yeah. So that is just how to set up the camera and how it's gonna work. So of course, if you just wanna set it like this, then it's doing, but if you want to enable with the Google Home, I'm going to show you how to do that now because then you get some extra features. You can ask like, your Chromecast device TVs to show the footage, or if you've got some Nest hubs, you can even ask that and it will show up on that. So let's do that now. So first of all, so I'm going to get my phone out here and we're going to go to the Google Home app. So let's just get that to the top and you want to click on the plus icon here like you normally do when you want to add a new device. I'm going to do that. And we're going to click set up a device and something that is already linked and works with Google Home. That's because we already set up through the process using the app, like setting up the camera, giving a name and everything. So we don't have to redo that. So we just kind of hit works with Google. And you want to search for new ways. So I've already searched for it. I already have it linked because I already have some other devices. But if you don't, you just want to search like using the search and just search for new way, and it comes up here. And it's just the new not the new home, but it's the standard new app. And then you just want to sign in. This is why you want to have an account on both so you can sign in and link them. And when you've done that, it's going to show up here. So if I scroll the way down to the bottom, it will show up as not linked in the house because I've not used the Google Home app to link the device like if I want to have it in the living room or the office like I do have my office camera here that's the one that's up there in the corner so I can view the office but this is the living room so what I'm going to do I'm going to add this to the home give it to the same home add it to the home and then I'm going to place it in the living room and hit next it's gonna wait for that to load, it's gonna take a few seconds and it's gonna load and it's gonna sync into your Google Home and now it's done. So if I go to the living room, you can see I have the camera here, but inside the Google Home app, you don't get a lot of features. You have to use the app to go in and change stuff like the motion detection, down sound detection, but the only thing you're gonna do in the Google Home is just linking it. That means you can now use your Google Home Assistant to ask to show the footage or the live view from the camera. This is why you want to name the camera because now I can just go and ask my Google Home. Okay, Google, show living room camera. Okay, streaming the living room on office display. You can see that works fine. I can just ask to this camera if I want to view the office. I'll just ask for that, which is really nice. So that's why it is really important that you give the names of the device. So if you don't want to call it Cam 1, Cam 2, you do want to know what it knows. So you can just ask living room camera, office camera, and it will show up, which is nice. And I have to say, the footage, it is decent. It is 
really well, it's usable, and with the sound and motion detection, it's really helpful. Like, for the price of $40, I think it's really nice. Like, it is really amazing. Of course, I'm going to do a video where I compare this with the 360 cam because that is a bit more expensive, but you do get some extra features. So, I'm going to do a comparison on that as well very soon. But this is just unboxing and quick review of the Novi Indoor 1080p cam. And for $40, I have to say, it is really nice. So, if you do want to check it out and you're just looking for a decent, really good, reliable home smart device camera with some good features, do check it out. The links will be in the description as always. But yeah, if you're new to the video, make sure you subscribe, hit that little bell icon so you don't miss out any of my latest video. But as always, thanks for watching the video. Make sure you subscribe, leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.